so it's past the middle of April, what is it, 20th or something, and spring is pretty much here, and I'm just about at the end of needing to keep the house warm with the burner. So, when I can stop heating, I'll tear the burner apart and rebuild it. So what I want to do is to rebuild it so that it has a high temperature refractory lining. And I also want to add an ash separator because I've had to blow out the heat exchanger pipes um, from collecting ash over the course of the winter. So hopefully I can add an ash separator that basically pulls all the ash out of the flow stream. So to that end, this is an experiment on a burn tube. It's just very simple. Um, I don't know how well you can see up in here, but there are a bunch of wood chips loaded into an 8 inch barrel, 4 feet long. It has a little bit of a restriction, creates a bit of a venturi, and then a blower, um, very much oversized, will blow into it and get the flames going. And there's the tarp that's covering the wood chips that held up all winter, and there's the burner house. So, Without further delay, let's see how big of flames we can get flying out of that thing. So, in a minute I'll try to get the flames a bit bigger, but before I do that, you see how fast that lit up. That was kind of nice. And, um, you can sort of hopefully see. Down the flame tube, it's a little hard. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera. So well. All right. Well, let's not belabor that. Let's see how long we can throw the flames.
Well, that works reasonably well. So, for a real burner, the flame tube would be what the chips drop down into. And then you just want combustion to finish <clears throat> inside the tube so that the flames die out before exiting the tube zone and heading into the ash collection zone. And there it is.